So starting up here, you can see that the this particular pattern doesn't go all the way to the corners. How do I change my swatch to maybe remove some of these gaps which I've got? Simple, I just double click on the swatch. And in this case, I want to change the repeating square. This tool, which hides within the pattern options panel, lets me do that. I can drag the existing square to change the size of it, and I can go inside the art if I like, and in that case, they will overlap. I do have different options about how the overlap is done, and you know that's more or less useful depending on what you've drawn. If I want, I can just completely draw a new square from scratch. And if I start, in fact, from outside the art, I'm going to get a nice big gap around where the artwork is. Now, if I want to reset this, I can hit Size Tile to Art, and it starts me back with where I was when I came into this. The art box is exactly the same size as the repeat. And if I've done that, I can use these two fields here to add a defined amount of spacing, say three mil top and bottom. Now there's very little uh, implication really if I choose not to size the tie with the art and simply drag this up. That is adding vertical spacing effectively. And this one is of course adding horizontal spacing. But it's good to know that you can reset it and then use this if that's the simple option you need. And yes, they can be negative. So let's say I set that to negative four then they will be overlapping by exactly four mil. Now, if I hit done at this point, I'm gonna be changing my existing swatch. That is in fact what I'm looking for. So I'm going to remove quite a bit of the gaps here. I'm just using the arrow keys on the keyboard and let's go negative 10, negative 10, hit done. It has changed my swatch and it has therefore changed the shape which was using that swatch.